Okay, hello everybody. Oh, I'm trying to figure out. We are live. Hello. Hi everyone. Uh, okay, I'm here to reveal another Oasis box. Hopefully you can see me. Okay. Very good. Alright, cool. So, another Oasis box is ready to be revealed. This was our box of February and it was a very special box because as soon as you opened it, this one smelled so, so, so good. The reason is that this was about edible flowers and we had actually dried flowers in here. So it was very, very exciting, exciting box. Let me show you what we got what the members got when they got this box of the February. And by the way, if you don't want to miss the spring, the first spring box, which is the March box, um, the deadline is the 15th. So go, if you're on Instagram, go into the bio and there's a link there to register. And if you are on Facebook, there is a link right here in the description somewhere. Okay, so make sure that you do not miss the March box because spring is here and um, spring is the best time to grow, right? So this one was about edible flowers and as usual we have a lesson which is an exciting and interesting card about edible flowers and all kinds of different things that we can do with them. That's that one. We had obviously the activity guide that comes with the shopping list. So let me show you those. So the activity guide was about growing marigolds. Obviously marigolds are edible flowers but they're also very good for the garden in many different ways and I'll show you. We have another card that explains that and goes through that. So this one was the step-by-step -step guide to how to start um, marigolds indoors and obviously the seeds were in the box for the Canadians and came separately free of charge for the US um, members so that was that and as usual we had games about edible flowers this time at the back um, and this also comes with the shopping list you also have the shopping list here and this tells you everything that you get in the box um, and we also had an well we always have something exciting and um, new and surprise in the box for the kiddos that comes here and then we also had another uh, exciting based on feedback that we got another exciting card that we added to the mix this uh, month and I'm going to show you what that is so again, this is the shopping list. So it tells you what you need to do the growing activity with your kiddos and what you have and what comes in the box, which is the seeds. Usually you mostly need soil for these activities. And at the back of it, there is a little, um, like, we, well, we call it um, Garden Wins card. And the Garden Wins card actually is kind of like a game. It tells you all the activities that are included in the box and you can check them and add the points in the middle. And we always have a, um, a, a contest every month. And our members use these cards to enter into the contest to win amazing prizes. So that was that. And again, this was all about edible flowers. The seeds were in there. We had the, the, the usual um, garden talk cards, which are collectibles. They're cutouts, so and and they are conversation starters um, about the topic of the month. And this month, it was all about edible flowers. And they have the little logos at the back, and they have these these um, you know places so that you can collect them together. A lot of our members do that, um, and they collect all of the cards that come uh, together. Uh, what else did we have? We had, we added this month um, future considerations. 
because yes, it's really good and exciting to actually grow, uh, do the activity and grow your marigolds, for example, um, to the stage of seedlings, right? But then what are you going to do with them? That's a question that we we used to get actually last year. Okay, so this is exciting. I got it to this point. Now what am I going to do? Now this year we are adding a card that tells you, okay, when you got to that point, now what? Now what, what, what can you do um, with marigolds? And also, uh, like this talks about transplanting and in the next boxes that, that, that it comes out, we also teach and talk about transplanting. So that will be another lesson that's going to come up soon um, in another month and then also some uh, exciting things about dreaming a little bit more about your garden what other edible flowers would you like to grow and why um, and what can you do with them like can you put them in a salad can you put them in a sandwich can you put can you um, you know dry them and use them for tea many different things you can do with them right as usual, we have the special um, mantra of the month. Every month we have a mantra of the month, and this one says, edible flowers are much more than a pretty face. Can you see that? And these are collectibles, and kids get one of these every month, and they collect it somewhere, and at the back they have a spot to collect their stickers that comes in here as well. The sticker of this month was obviously about edible flowers. And there you have this one, really, really cute. So you cannot find these stickers anywhere else. We don't sell them anywhere else. You just get them in the box and that's it. Okay. And as every month, we have a coloring paper. And this one was about the topic of the month, which was edible flowers all kinds of them there's marigolds there and there's you know the roses and everything and the exciting exciting part that was in the box that's now left in here and i want to show you and the part that really smelled amazing this month like as soon as you open the box the aroma comes out is actual organically sourced edible dried edible flowers and three types of them this is for the sensory part of the, the experience so that your kiddos actually get to um, see, touch, smell, and taste real edible flowers. And these are all organic. This one was roses. Ah, oh, I don't have to show you. Can you see that? Yeah. And they smell amazing. So we had roses in here. <laughs> I'm spreading them all over the place. And we had, oh, chamomile in here. Oh, smells amazing. Oh, hello, hi. So, yeah, this was another thing that was in the box of edible flowers. That was box of this month, chamomile. Can you see? And you can make tea with this, and these are all organic. So, and that's that. Oh, and this one's really exciting. This one was actually a spice. Can you guess what it was? Oh, nice. Yeah, so there, there are spices that actually come from edible flowers. And this one was clove. Did you know that clove is actually the buds of flowers? And what happens is that they, they um, dry these uh, clove buds and then they powder them after they're dried. And that's what they sell you as cloves of spice that we put in our cookies and ketchup and all kinds of sorts of things, right? So yeah, your kiddos, I mean the members kiddos also got as on top of everything else in here, they got these three really nice smelling um, sensory activity related uh, items in their, their boxes. So we had the stickers, we had the coloring paper, we had the future considerations for marigold and edible flowers, we had the activity guide, the step-by-step -step activity guide in there, we had, and obviously the games at the back, 
we had the garden top cards that are cut out and collectible as every month. We had the seeds, the marigold seeds. We had the shopping list, as well as the win garden wins card. And we also had the lesson. So our boxes are getting more and more exciting every month. Now this month's box is spring. The first box of spring, which is super exciting because seriously, that's the best time of year to actually start your kids um, to think about uh, what, the, what they want to grow in the garden and plan for it and dream for it, right? So that, and another exciting thing that I also told you last time, we are changing our boxes so that they look a lot more appealing and exciting and interesting to kids. Now, the first shipment of these are almost here, and I hope that I get them in time for this month, if not next month, but I'm really, really, really crossing my fingers and, you know, calling them every day. Where is it? Is it here? So that we can hopefully get our spring started with these um, much more cute and appealing to kids uh, boxes, hopefully, uh, you know, rather than, the, that the, than these boxes. Well, these look much, much better, and the kids are going to like them much, much better, right? Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I hope that we get them. But if you want the spring box, don't miss out because we have a cutout date, right? We, we ship on the next business day um, to the 15th. So you can register um, to get your box. Um, the link is here or is in the bio if you're on Instagram. And go ahead and make sure that you do not miss out this month. This month's well, I'm not going to say too much to, to, let, to you know, reveal the secrets and the surprises in the uh, uh, March's box, but it's going to be about planning and dreaming the garden. And uh, we have a lot of really exciting and interesting goodies um, also in this month's box. So before the 15th midnight, go ahead and get your, your kiddos registered to not miss the box of this month, okay? Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.